Hello everyone, this is Darsh Chitalia. Welcome to my channel, Darsh Shonyam. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for your love and support on my first video of Valency Chart. In today's video, we'll be learning the application of that Valency Chart. So if in case you haven't seen my first video of Valency Chart, I would mention its link in the description below. So let us start with the application of the Valency Chart to find out the chemical formulae. In the chart, you saw there were many ions. Some of these ions carry positive charges. Some of these ions carry negative charges. All the positively charged ions are called as cations. All the negatively charged ions are called as anions. Based upon the number of elements, ions can be classified into two, monoatomic ions and polyatomic ions. If there is a single element carrying a particular charge, they are called as monoatomic ions. For example, H plus, K plus, Ca2 plus, all of these are single elements carrying a particular charge. Polyatomic ions are the ions in which there is two or more elements which carry a particular charge. For example, carbonate ions, CO3 2 minus, carbon and oxygen, both of them have minus 2 ka charge on them. Similarly, sulfate ions is SO4 2 minus and bicarbonate ion is HCO3 minus. So based upon the elements present, ions can be classified into two monoatomic ions and polyatomic ions. Now, let us learn the steps and the rules involved in finding out the chemical formula. First, we'll learn the three steps that you need to memorize. Step number one, write the symbols of the ions involved. Step number two, below they are symbols, write their corresponding valencies. Step number three is crisscrossing their valency. Iske valency iske niche as subscript, iske valency iske niche as subscript. So these are the three steps that you need to memorize. Now let us learn the three rules that you need to remember. Rule number one, if there is a polyatomic ion, place it inside the bracket and then put the valency outside it as a subscript. Rule number two, if there is one as a subscript in your final answer, there is no need to write it. And rule number three is if the valencies of the two elements can be reduced to the simpler number, go ahead and do it. For example, two elements are having valency two and two. We can reduce it, right? Two ones are, two ones are, and then we will crisscross. So keeping these three steps and these three rules in mind, let us take an example. We'll take an example of cadmium iodide. So we'll write cadmium iodide. Cadmium ka symbol is CD. Iodide ki symbol is I. Step one is done. Then we'll follow the step two. Step two is writing their valencies. Cadmium ka valency two hai. Iodide ka valency one hai. Last and final step, which is the most important one, is crisscrossing their valency. So cadmium ka two gaya iodide ke niche. Iodide ka one gaya cadmium ke niche. On doing this, we'll get CD1, I2. As the rule says, one likna nahi hai. Then we'll remove one and we'll get the final answer as CDI2, which is the formula for cadmium iodide. Let us take an example of calcium hydroxide. So we'll write calcium hydroxide. Step one is writing their symbols, right? So calcium ka symbol is CA, hydroxide ka symbol is OH. Then we'll write their valences below them. Calcium ke niche will write two, hydroxide ki valence is one, so we'll write one. Then we'll crisscross it. But this time keep in mind that OH, that is hydroxide, is a polyatomic ion. We'll place that in the bracket. So on performing this, we'll get Ca1 bracket mein OH or uske bar 2 as a subscript. One hum log likhte nahi hai. So we'll get Ca bracket mein OH and 2, which is read as CaOH twice, which is the formula for calcium hydroxide. Let us take one more example of barium sulfate. So we'll write barium sulfate. Barium ke niche its symbol is Ba. Sulfate ka symbol is SO4. Both of their valencies, barium ka valency is 2, sulfate ka valency bhi hai 2. Applying the rule, 2 ones are, 2 ones are. And then we'll crisscross by 1 and 1. So on doing that, we'll get Ba1, SO4 bracket mein or 1. Now, as we all know, 1 likna nahi hai. So, agar hum log 1 nahi lik rahe, to bracket bhi nikal denge. So we'll get Ba, SO4, which is the formula for barium sulfate. Also, I would like to draw your attention on a line that is there in 
valency chart that is c u and f e both of them have variable valency copper 1 and 2 i and 2 3 usually use karenge 2 e ye wali line usually if someone ask you ki iron sulfate kya hai ya copper sulfate kya hai we will use it as 2 and hence copper ka 2 likha sulfate ka 2 likha 2 ones are to ones are criss cross will get cu by so 4 but the iron the original name or the latin name of iron is ferrum and iron has two states right plus 2 and plus 3 keep in mind do lower number hota hai the lower one ends up with us and the higher one ends up with ik so agar iska naam iron ka naam latin mein hai ferrum it has two states plus 2 plus 3 and hence hence it has two names as well which is ferric and ferrous एक है लास्ट में तो प्लस थ्री वाला स्टेट है सो आयन इन प्लस थ्री इज फेरिक एंड अस में एंड अगर हो रहा है फेरस तो वहां पर आयन इज इन प्लस टू का स्टेट सिमिलरली इफ वी अब लाइक द सेम लॉजिक टू कॉपर कॉपर का लैटिन नेम इज क्यूप्रम क्यूप्रम के दो नाम होते हैं क्यूप्रस एंड क्यूप्रिक अस है सो so, कॉपर के दो स्टेट प्लस वन प्लस टू छोटा है वन एंड हेंस सी इन प्लस वन स्टेट इज कॉल्ड एज क्यूप्रस एंड क्यू Brick is the copper in plus two states. So let us consider an example of ferric chloride. अब इसका formula क्या होगा? Ferric एक and एक हो रहा है two और three में बड़ा number है three. So we'll take ferric के नीचे plus three and chloride is one. Crisscrossing their valency, we'll get Fe one Cl three. One हम लोग लिखते नहीं हैं. So the final answer is FeCl three, which is the formula for ferric chloride. So in this way. if you know the valency chart you can write many compounds you have to just take a positive ion and a negative ion write their valency and criss cross it for example you can take aluminum hydroxide you can take potassium chromate you can take hydrogen oxide many examples as such but it is very important that you memorize the whole arti if you know the whole arti then you can make any chemical compounds or find out the formula of them so please watch the valency chart video try to memorize it watch it 3 4 times once you get it it would be easy for you as well to find out any formula so if you liked this video smash out the like button if there is any questions or any queries or any suggestions you can comment right below please share this video with all your friends thank you for giving me all your time i hope everyone enjoyed sab log maze karo Thank you